All right, guys, it's Cortezarino here again with some more statue tutorials. Now, these are a little bit different. These are beacon statues. The idea is that I'm incorporating the beam of the beacon into the statue design so you can decorate your beacons. So I only had pictures of two statues in the thumbnail, but we are doing four different statue tutorials here today. And just in case you're thinking, well, I don't really want to do a beacon statue. That seems a bit weird. All these statues, of course, you could do without the beacon beam. So the first one here is a soldier with a shield holding a spear. So the beacon beam is the spear. But of course, you could just put some cobblestone wall in there if you didn't want to use the, uh, the beacon beam. But uh, the second one, I think, looks super cool with the beacon beam. This one isn't a warrior. I think you could actually make a pretty good story about this statue. I kind of think of it like an old man at night, just looking around, guarding the place, holding up his lantern to light the way. But uh, he is not vulnerable because he, he is accompanied by a big cat, maybe a panther. So I think that one is also very nice. Over here, we've got a swordsman kneeling he's got a shield on his back and of course you could switch out the sword hilt for maybe an axe head or something like that and last of all is very similar to another statue tutorial i've done this is a bowman it's a little bit different from my other tutorial but that one also works really nicely with the beacon beam now even though all of these statues are different they do share a lot of the same design elements. So you'll be able to remember how to build these really, really quickly. You build one, you'll be able to build another really fast. But to begin, what you want to do is, for each of these statues, just build a 5 by 7 platform with a beacon popping out of the front right here. So our first tutorial we're going to do is for the spearman holding the shield and we need to build his platform a little bit differently to the others because he's got one foot raised up in the air. So come along to your platform and I'm using yellow stained glass here to make yellow beacon beams but you could use whatever color you like. So grab some stone, put two blocks to the left of that piece of glass then we're going to run four more down like so and then two more right there behind the glass. Now for his right leg, we're going to come along to this block here, place some stone bricks and another one on top with a chiseled stone brick for the knee and another stone brick behind. Then grab some stone brick stairs, place one upside down right there and a right way up one on top of that. And against the top one, we're going to place a stone block and for the body, three andesite blocks going up like so. Now for the other leg, we're going to put some right way up stone brick stairs right there with a stone brick underneath, chiseled stone brick for the knee, two more stone bricks down like so. And then just at the front, we're going to put a right way up stone brick stair against that piece of stone and a piece of cobblestone just under that to look like some chain mail. Next for the shield, we're going to come along to the side with his bent leg and we're looking at this stone brick right here. I want you to grab a dropper and then looking up from down below here, we're going to place a dropper right there. And that is the center of our shield. So we're going to put a piece of stone above, one on each side, and then also one below. Now in the corners, I want you to place chiseled stone bricks. So we're going to put four of them with stone buttons right in the middle. Then grab some cobblestone wall and on the edge of each piece of stone we're going to place one of these walls and then grab some cobblestone stairs and we're going to run them around like that on each side. So your shield should look like that when you're done. And next we're going to do the soldier's arm. And he's got his arm resting on top of the shield. So come along to this top and side block. Place a right way up stair right there with another one right beside it. Then come around the back. I'm going to place an upside down stair from that direction. And then spin all the way around to this side. We're going to place another upside down stair facing in that direction. And on the opposite side from that, we're going to place a right way up stair right there. Then looking from the front, we're going to place another right way up stair 
against that. So that is your arm done. And while we're here, we'll also do the soldier's head. So we're going to build out a few inside blocks. So place one up the top, two more in front, and then break the first two. Then come around behind, and we're going to place a right way upstairs against that. And then grab a stone brick slab and place it underneath that andesite block. So the sol that's the soldier's face. So he's looking down. Then for the other arm, I want you to come around to this side. Grab some stone brick stairs. Place one facing right way up against that andesite block. Another one right beside it. And then from the back, we're going to place an upside down stair right there. Then grab a piece of stone. We're going to place it there so it looks like a bicep. And then we're going to put a stone brick slab underneath. Against that slab, we're going to put another slab facing toward the front with one on top of that. Now we want to put his hand around the beacon beam. And we can't put a block there because that will block off the beacon beam completely, which we don't want. So we're going to use a shulker box, a light gray shulker box. So just place a temporary block right there against the that top slab and then against that temporary block place your shulker box and then you can break it and we're done so next we're going to do the tutorial for the man holding the lantern with the scary looking pussy cat right beside him the one you don't want to mess with and this guy's going to need a bigger platform to stand on now you don't need to do these exact platforms you could have them standing straight on whatever floor you've got but this it might help you for when you're following the tutorial to mark out these platforms. So come along to your 5x7 and we're going to put an extra line of blocks on the left hand side and on the right hand side we're going to have an extra line of two blocks and then we're going to need an extra line right at the back. So first we're going to do the cat. So come along to your glass block and we're going to skip a block and on the second one place them right way upstairs. On the back of that, we're going to place a stone slab against the top half, stairs on top of that, then from the back, upside down stairs, then a stone brick slab on top, and a stone brick slab right behind that. So that's a front leg. Now for the back leg, I want you to place a temporary block right there with some upside down stone brick stairs against that. You can break that and replace it with a slab on the ground. Then grab your stone brick stairs, place one right way up right there, and then one upside down against the back of that. So that's the back leg. Now we're going to add in the tail. So grab two temporary blocks, place one on top of that and one just behind it. So we're also going to place a stone brick slab against the bottom half of that one. And then at the back, we're going to place one, a stone brick slab on the top half. And then you can break that and your tail is done. So that is one half of the cat's body. We're going to do the other half now. So on this second stone brick stair, we're going to add another one right beside it. Then come around the back and we're going to place a right way up stair right there. And then another one upside down against that top stair. Then grab yourself a piece of stone. And against that top stair, we're going to place a stone right there. Then against the bottom of that, at the back, we're going to place a stone brick slab. Then some stone brick stairs just behind that. And then against the top of that stone brick stairs, we're going to place another slab right there. So that is the other front leg and the back leg of our cat. Now for the head, grab yourself an andesite block. Well, this could be stones. So I like andesite for the head. It goes right there. But of course, if you prefer, you could use a stone. It's whatever, whatever you like, but it goes right there. And that is your cat complete. So next we're going to do the old man holding the lantern and we'll begin with these staff. So come along to the glass block and off to the right hand side we're going to skip two blocks then place a cobblestone wall right there. I'm going to build that up so it's four blocks high in total. Now behind that we're going to place two stone bricks with a chiseled stone brick for the knee on top. Now behind the chiseled brick we're going to place another stone brick right there, then upside down stairs against the back of that with right way upstairs on top of that one. Now against those top stairs, I'm going to place a stone block and then three andesite blocks on top of that. For his right leg, we're going to place some right way upstairs against the stone. Now looking from the back, upside down stone brick stairs right there. 
and then looking from the front right way up stone brick stairs against that now chiseled stone brick underneath that one for the knee and this is a little hard to place but we're going to do upside down stairs facing in that direction now behind we're going to do another stone brick stairs right there and for the foot some right way up stone brick stairs and come around the front against this piece of stone we're going to place some right way up stone brick stairs and i think we're using cobblestone here again yes we are for a bit of chain mail underneath that stair a block of cobblestone so now we're going to do the arm that is holding the staff so come along to this side of the build and against that piece of andesite against the top one right way up stone brick stairs with another one right beside it then looking from the back upside down stairs then a piece of stone right there to look like a bicep beneath that a slab another slab just in front of that with a slab on top and right in front of those we're going to place a stone brick on top of that cobblestone wall and we can build that up another four to complete the staff now we're also going to do his head while we're here so grab some inside place one block right on top come out two to the front and break the two behind then looking from the back some right way up stone brick stairs for the neck and for his face we're going to place a stone brick slab right there so he's looking down but we're also going to place just under his neck a stone block right there with a stone brick underneath and for the arm holding the lantern i want you to grab your stairs and place one right way up against that top and side block with another one just in front of that now looking from the back we're going to place an upside down stone stair like so and then in this direction it's a little bit hard to get into we're going to place an upside down one facing in that direction and against the back of that we're going to place another upside down one right there and grab your stone brick slabs against the top of that stair we're going to place one there and then one just on top of that now grab a glass block and this has to be the same color as your beacon beam otherwise you can end up changing the color so against that bottom slab we're going to place the glass right there and i like to use jungle trapdoors so we're going to place one against the top of the glass block on each side fold them down one on top one below and that is your statue done so next we're going to do our kneeling swordsman and the body of this guy is very similar to the one we just did so we are going to fly through this so come along to your glass block in the ground and on the diagonal off to the right we're going to place a stone brick right there with another one on top chiseled stone brick on top then around the back another stone brick then upside down stairs right way upstairs like so with a stone against that top one and three andesite on top of that now for the other leg come along to this stone we're going to place right way up stairs then looking from the back upside down stairs looking from the front right way upstairs and a chiseled one underneath there then again a little bit hard to place upside down stairs in that direction stone bricks behind and for the foot right way up stone brick stairs now at the front we're going to place a right way up stone brick stairs against that piece of stone and we're going to put a slab just below that now the swordsman's arms are exactly the same on each side so we're going to place two right way up stone brick stairs against that top piece of andesite then looking from the back two upside down ones right there with pieces of stone right there for the biceps and then grab some slabs one underneath each of those stone come one out to the front and put another slab on top of those and we're going to use another light gray shulker box for his fist so we're going to place a temporary block against that top slab with a light gray shulker box against that and then you can break that one now for the hilt of the sword we're going to do two cobblestone wall straight up and then grab some cobblestone stairs and we're going to place them right way up against the bottom cobblestone wall now you could of course extend this uh, sword all the way down if you wanted to but i find like the big one will pass through it but it gives off this weird shimmer that's a little bit distracting so i prefer to just use the beacon for the blade of the sword 
and the head is very similar to the other heads we've done. So grab andesite blocks, place one on top of that, come forward to break the two behind with a stone brick stair right way up behind that, and then a stone brick slab for the face against the bottom of that. But I don't like how the head connects to that piece of fence there. So break that piece of andesite. I'm going to place, looking down, another shulker box right there. Now the last thing to do is put the shield on his back. And this is the same design of the other shield. So against this andesite block right in the middle, and we're going to look from below when we do this, we're going to place a dropper right there against that middle one with stone above, stone below, and stone on each side. Then, if I can find it, my chiseled stone bricks in the corners. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to put buttons on each of those. Cobblestone wall in against the stone on each side. Then grab your cobblestone stairs and we're placing them like that on each side. And there we go. Statue is complete. And the very last one is for the archer statue. The archer who is stringing his bow. This is very similar to one I've done in a previous tutorial, but there are a few tiny, tiny differences. But the body shape is very similar to what we've just done. So we're going to fly through this again. So diagonally back from that piece of glass, we're going to put two stone bricks right there, chiseled on top, behind that, another stone brick, upside down stair, right way upstairs. Stone against the top one, then three and side blocks up from the top, then right way up stone brick stairs on that side, then looking from the back, upside down stairs, looking from the front, right way upstairs, chiseled one just below that, and then upside down stairs like so, with stone bricks behind that, and for the foot, a right way up stone, and we'll do the head while we're here as well. So. Another inside block on top, come forward to, break the two behind, stone brick stair behind that with a slab just underneath. Next for the arm holding the bowstring against this top piece of andesite, we're going to do a right way up stair, another one beside that, and looking from the back, an upside down one right there, then stone in front of that for the bicep with a slab underneath, another slab in front of that, one on top and once again we're going to need a temporary block against that slab up the top there with a light grey shulker box against that and you can break that block. Now for the arm on the other side that will be holding the bow we're going to place a right way up stone brick stair right there another one beside that then looking from the back upside down stairs then you're going to have to come in between his legs here and we're going to place an upside down stone brick stair like so. And then another upside down one against that. Then grab some slabs. We're going to place a slab against the top of that one. Another slab on top of that. Then coming forward again, a slab against that top one. And another slab against that. And before I forget, we better put some pants on this guy. So just place a right way up stone brick stair right there with a slab on the bottom of that then grab some cobblestone walls i'm going to place one on top of that piece of glass with another one on top of it then off to the left hand side one there one on top of it come sideways again and then we can run that all the way up to his fist like so and then just on the top of his his fist we're going to place another cobblestone wall one off to the side one above one off to the side and one above and you're all done and that is how you build all four of these statues. Sorry if I went through them pretty quickly, but they all are reasonably similar to build. And there will be a world download in the description, guys, if you want to grab it. And let me know which of these is your favourite. I think my favourite is the guy holding the lantern, because I think the cat looks really cool, but also like the, the swordsman. I'm not sure. Which is your favourite? Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Cortez Reno. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. See you next time.